Okay, uh, Coach Fisher's here. We'll finish up with, with Coach today. Um, got a few here. Um, Mitch Sherman, The Athletic. Hey, Travis. Uh, did uh, Looking back at Ohio State, did, did their receivers present you with some challenges in, in pass defense that um, maybe didn't allow you to get as aggressive in what you, what you would do against teams that don't have the kind of game-breaking ability like Garrett Wilson and Chris Olave? No, we just we knew uh, going into the game that um, they had um, deep threats on the outside, uh, um, and uh, the guys were you know want to play top down on the routes and compete and challenge the routes and and, and stuff like that. So, thanks, thanks. Uh, Lincoln Journal Star Parker Gabriel. Hey Travis, just. Um... Your, your confidence level in, in that group, especially at safety um, behind uh, Deontay Williams and the guys that will, will be in the mix to fill in, um, given those first half suspensions for, for Cam and Deontay. Yep, I got a lot of, a lot of uh, confidence in the guys that uh, we're gonna play uh, week to week. Obviously, uh, it starts on Monday and Tuesday, uh, preparation and going into the game. Uh, how well can we practice uh, as a group? Um, guys have the individual uh, goals that they want to, you know, accomplish in practice. As far as I want to get better on this today, I want to get better on this tomorrow. I want to get, you know, and stuff like that. Uh, but all of the guys, when it's their turn um, to play, whether it's somewhere during the game, whether it's uh, whether it's the next game or, or whatever it may be, um, they're starters. Um, so uh, we just keep rolling. So the guys that. Uh, who are, whoever's in the game is starters in, in my eyes. And, and just one quick follow up w with Miles in particular, you, you've spoken highly of him in the past. What did you uh, make of the time that he got against Ohio State? And how much does it help to have, uh, you know, some film in a game for him then to work off of um, building the rest of the way? Yeah, good question. Anytime, anytime that I can get uh, the younger guys in the game, it's a bonus for me. Just simply because those guys are, are, are talented, need to get the game experience. Um, they're getting the practice experience now, but there's nothing like having that game experience. So uh, Miles did get a few, get some plays in the Ohio State game, and I thought he did a great job when he got in the game. Twenty-four-seven Sports, Brian Christopherson. Hey Travis, I just wanted to ask you about a few newcomers. Um, I would maybe start with Nadab Joseph. Where, where is he at? And I mean. How far is he uh, from contributing, or what's he got to do to kind of get in the mix? Yeah, right now Nadab is out here every day. He, he's working hard to get himself where he needs to be. Um, obviously, he's the late addition for us, but you know he's working hard to get himself where he needs to be. Um, he's coming along pretty good. How has uh, uh, Lineham and Delansky? How, how have they? What have they shown to you so far? And, and are they guys you could you could rely on this week in any way? Yeah, I mean, they played last week on special teams. Um, look forward to them stepping up in some part of the game, um, whether it's defense, whether it's special teams again this week. Um, um, maturing a whole lot to be freshmen, a whole lot. Uh, those, 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 those two that you just named are doing a great job um, are coming to practice with the right mentality. Um, the older guys, are, they're catching the older guys' eyes by the way they're practicing, making plays on the football side in practice. Thank you. Thank you. Omaha World Herald, Sam McEwen. Hey, Coach. Thanks for doing this. Hey, how'd, how'd you know that Quentin Newsom was going to be a good corner? I mean, in high school, he was a really good safety, an elite safety. I think a lot of schools recruited him as that, but but you kind of saw all along his possibility of being a cornerback. How did, how did you see that? Like, what did you see in his game that made you think, this is a guy that we could actually move from safety to corner? Uh, just simply because, I, you know, I watched Quentin throughout his high school career and out his senior year. Uh, his junior year, he played corner. So um, I, I had a chance to watch him play corner. So that's really how I know. Um, also, um, had a chance to watch him work out on his own um, back home. And uh, just, you know, him sending film in to me, had a, you know, of him working out on his own, gave, I saw his feet. You know, he has very, very, very good quick feet. And, uh, you know, guys like that that can play safety and corner, but at the same time have the feet to play corner. You know, I, I knew right away that he can play corner here. 
I know that you're a coach. Lots of coaches love to see players in person in order to be able to kind of visually match up what they're seeing on film. That's obviously been very hard this year in the pandemic. How have you start, tried to adjust to desiring to see these kids up close so, so you can get a sense of how big they are and how they move and all those things without being able to do it in person because of NCA regulations? Yeah, it's, it's hard with the regulations they have out right now. Um, but we're just trying to do the best that we can. You know, personally, I am one of those guys that visually I, I want to see a kid practice. I want to watch him. I want to see how tall he is. I want to, you know, unable to do it right now. Um, but so it is, it is, it is different for me. Uh, but, but just watching a lot of game film on guys right now, and they got a few games in right now. So now I'm starting to go back and watch some game film. And so I get a chance to have a, a different opinion or keep the same opinion. Uh, depending on what I see on film. Thank you, man. All right, and uh, last one for Coach Fisher. And to wrap up today, Sean Callahan, Husker Online. Hey, Coach. Uh, what have you seen from Peyton Ramsey? I know you got to watch him last year versus Indiana. Um, how has he blended in at Northwestern, and how will he challenge you guys on the back end? Um, you know, these guys have uh, a great football team. Uh, they're very disciplined across the board, um, you know, not a highly penalized team. They're going to be very disciplined. They're going to do the things that they do and do it well. Uh, we got to be do a good job of um, having eye discipline, very, being very disciplined within the scheme, uh, flying around to the football, uh, being physical in the point of, point, of, uh, point of contact, and challenging plays a lot better on the outside. It's a build from last week. All right. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, guys. And we'll have Coach Frost tomorrow at 1130. I'll send the Zoom link later today.